afternoon. I am currently in Crete and we are on a historical site of a palace called Knossos and we have been an amazing historical tour. So we are in open court right here. This is the quarter where all the royal used to live. It was excavated in the 1900s. Beautiful place. The way they get the fresh water is from the mountain up there and they have a drainage system that goes and takes the water to the palace to use. Amazing stuff, right? I love it. So guys, this is the throne room where the king would meet with his subjects and they would discuss about trades, you know, the mundane stuff. just done the historical sightseeing historical sightseeing and now we are on our way to our next destination we have actually rented a motorbike and that is going to be our transportation for the rest of the trip here on Crete City called um, Sanai. Shanai? Yeah, it's called Shana. Oh, yeah, we almost were not able to get on the flight because EasyJet decided to oversell their seatings. So apparently, they have to leave nine seats empty on the plane just in case someone you know, suffer COVID um, symptoms. So they have to isolate themselves on the plane. We were one of the five last five people to check in online and they say that we might not be able to get on the plane but eventually at the end we got on the plane yeah drama <laughs> The road here are particularly uh, bad <laughs> and my behind is like taking some serious damage right now <laughs> So finally we have arrived at the top of the mountain so now we have to walk for another 20 minutes to go to the actual lagoon so here goes Morning guys, we are on our way to another beach called 
Villa Farnese is the most beautiful beach in Crete and we are just stopping for our breakfast um, just orange juice we love fresh orange juice freshly squeezed and one thing I love about Greece is that the hospitality every time you go to like a cafe or a restaurant they are super accommodating and super nice they give us extra like desserts before we ask uh, before they bring the bill <laughs> uh, trying to sweeten us up <laughs> but yeah the hospitality here is just amazing Staying true to the Greek style after we have our lunch and the bill is here and they always bring us some braki for digestion I guess and then some you know this is some lemon sorbet usually it could be some fruit. Guys, look at the size of these prawns. Amazing. And this moussaka is absolutely amazing. Tastes so good. Look at that. You've got the meat, you've got the cheese, you've got the aubergine. Yum. So, finally got my kebab. Look at that. This is one is chicken and we have pork here. Got my got my white and blue and my sandals <laughs> Grecian look complete <laughs> let's eat hi guys so we have just disembarked in Santorini and we are about to hire a motorbike to go to our hotel. Quick room tour. So this is going to be our bedroom. And coming up here, we have the small living room and the bathroom. And check this out. Look at the size of this sink. And we have overhead shower, marble stone maybe. And yeah super tired and here we have and here we have another bedroom which you know it has an amazing view of the thing by the window let me open it whoa it's so hot right now i was dying like the town it reminds me a little bit of chef Chouin in morocco with all the small roads and we finally arrived in our hotel and it is we've got the own pool the view is stunning and we have the complimentary drinks cheers <laughs>
came from that way and you can see how many people are waiting to catch the sunset in Santorini and you can also see the influencers' boyfriends all have their camera ready all the girls are in their lovely dresses and ready to take photos for the gram so you know check out the hashtag Santorini for the latest pictures <laughs> I won Influencer right here is not going to have a very nice photo because you know your girl is in her travel kit and it flip flops <laughs> to go to Mykonos As usual the pool is packed There's already a queue of people getting in and also getting out So we are now in Mykonos Arrived late from the ferry and the town is super cute we are on a hunt for a lunch spot because I'm super hungry and the weather is hot most of the clubs are closed early so yeah we're gonna go try and get some good drinks for tonight